Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. Today I've entitled my message, Now is the Time to Share Your Faith. The other day I was reading a devotional about sharing our faith and um, something some of us kind of get a bit nervous about, but it, it does get easier the more you do it. And also I feel that we should have a passion for our faith. Um, if we go to a good restaurant or we go to a good holiday destination we we like to tell people about it so if we're excited about our faith and we believe that we're born again and we've been given eternal life then we should be able to share our faith about something good so the, I, uh, earlier on i was looking at um someone i follow on twitter a chap, chap who's uh, sort, sort of honest let's move this out of the way um and uh, this is on Twitter and um, here we see urgent a big New Zealand study reveals high rates of kidney injury after the jab etc uh, Muslim patrol um, religion of peace it's talking about in Leicester um, here it's talking about life I'm guessing it's talking about abortions here don't even want to go there but he's but was this recorded in hell and yes it looks like it, it it's not it's not clever the, the things we're seeing what i like about david is he, he's he's real and he, see, he sees through our media we're not we're not being told the truth and um you know think things are just going going downhill gradually i don't want to be um a doom and gloom merchant but we can see things in the world going down and um and uh, sorry I'm trying to read two things at once here here's got one of the things that, that I regret about the whole COVID narrative these past three years is how it has divided friends caused family feuds and ruined relationships I blame the monsters behind the re regime not those who chose the vaccination path vaccination dated path so all things that are set set to divide the country friends people you, you know it's, it's personal if you took the if you took the um, jab or whatever um, I believe I've been vaccinated by the blood of Jesus and um, I kind of see th through everything that was going on but the media is very convincing so I can't blame people for doing what they done because we were told to do certain things and I understand why you know people want to be obedient um, to the rulers but it's not quite as simple like as that and we're seeing more and more corruption so um, hence why, why my title is now is a time to share your faith and um, hence why I've got this channel which is a new channel and um, I started looking in the Bible and um, talked about talking about the coming of the Holy Spirit in Acts 2 and um, how how great that must have been and here it says um, about when the day of Pentecost had fully come they were all in all with one accord in one place that's what I, what I like about the Christian faith if we can all be in, a, in one accord with the Holy Spirit and then it says and then suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a sound of rushing mighty wind that filled the whole house where they were sitting and then they appeared to him divided tongues as a fire and one sat upon each of them and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and them began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance amazing that um that we've been left with the holy spirit and we can speak in a new language which will be a something for another day but um here it's got about peter's sermon and um and what the old prophet said here so it says and it shall come to pass in the last days says God that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall see, see prophecy young men shall see visions your old men shall see dreams and so on I won't re read it all but you can see it's in in uh, Acts 2 um, verse 17 to 21 great reading and uh, very encouraging so um, yes yeah, so, so to me with everything that's going on there's never been a better time for people to hear the truth and it's good to share our faith as I said earlier if we've been somewhere good we like to share our experience and um, we've been given the gift of eternal life and um, we've been given the Holy Spirit which can lead us all into, into all truth so we have so much to be thankful for so um, if you're not a Christian and um, you'd like to know more I always suggest people start reading with the Gospels and get in a good church but um, if 
if you'd like to read this prayer here, um, which, which reads, um, Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as Lord and Saviour of my life. I repent of all my sins and I ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer and genuinely meant it, that means you have been born again and the Spirit of God has moved into you. It may sound strange when I was first born again. Um, I kind of I thought well, what's you know before I was born again I thought well, what's this all about but then when you get your born again spirit it's like new life and your thinking changes and you think good thoughts rather than bad thoughts and um, of course we need to study the word to find out more about the truth but it is an amazing experience to have eternal life and to have the peace of God we don't have to go with the world uh, we're obviously in the world but we don't have to go with it so Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, I'm here to help. Thanks very much for watching.